So we are back yet again with a Ryzen 3000 leak. This time we're gonna be looking at the 3950X because videocards.com just leaked an AMD slide about the 3950X, which has not yet been announced, but is widely expected, or at least some 16 core processor is expected on the Ryzen 3000 platform. So we're gonna take a look at the numbers and point out just why this actually might be the final specs of our 16 core beast that we've been waiting on from AMD. So I guess I'll go ahead and set this Ryzen 7 box aside so we can talk a little bit about the Ryzen 9 3950X, if that is indeed what AMD is going to call this 16 core processor. Now if you go back to Computex, remember that we got the 12 core announcement. We were actually expecting a 16 core processor to be announced in the lead up to Computex. That just didn't happen. But we do see this Ryzen 9 3950X slide leak to videocards.com. It's important to note though that Video Cards mentions in their article, which I will link down below, that they could not verify independently that this was the real deal, that this is not some sort of doctored slide. So take this with a grain of salt, though I would point out that all the numbers look realistic enough that I would typically, or at least I would tend to buy into this a little bit because we already know that AMD will have a 16 core. At least they would be sort of uh, crazy not to in my mind because you have two Zen 2 CCXs, which if you utilize all the cores would be a 16 core processor. So we have the 16 core 32 threads we're expecting. We have a 4.7 gigahertz boost clock here with a 3.5 gigahertz base. Now that boost clock is a little bit higher than the, uh, the 12 core here, but just barely 100 megahertz. That's actually well within the realm of possibility. As we would go up the lineup, we would expect that individual core turbos would max out a little bit higher. So that seems to be well within the, the uh, chain of reasoning here that we would have a slightly higher boost, but then the base clock is actually lower. And that would also actually be expected with a processor like this because it looks like AMD may be trying to maintain that 105 watt TDP. And I don't think they could do that if they had a higher base clock than the 3900X. So it actually makes sense that we have only a 3.5 gigahertz base clock, though of course being an unlocked processor paired with, I would hope you'd be pairing it with a really solid motherboard. I would expect with good cooling, you could definitely push that base clock well over four gigahertz across all 16 cores with no problem and we do not get an MSRP, and that also makes sense because AMD may be still trying to gauge out how uh, the reception of Ryzen 3000 is actually gonna be when the market opens on July 7th, when we actually see these processors readily available. AMD may actually be waiting to see how well these things are selling because if they're just not selling well on the high end, then a higher price tag might not be justified. But if the 3900X sells extremely well, then maybe we would see a higher price tag. So AMD actually might be waiting to figure out the pricing until the rest of the Ryzen 3000 processors actually launch, or the alternative may be that they just haven't settled on something and they'll settle on that before then. And there's also no firm date yet on when we'll actually see this uh, 3950X announced. Now AMD does have an event at E3 tomorrow on June 10th, so we possibly could even see an announcement there. We're expecting to see more on the graphics card front from AMD at E3, but it is entirely possible that AMD could take this opportunity to make another big announcement and steal the show at another big conference by announcing the 3950X. We'll just have to wait and see on that front, but that is the leak from videocards.com. Again, link down below. But of course, I do wanna hear from you guys. What do you think about these uh, specs on this 16 core? And this actually presents us with this interesting problem. If this processor is not announced or is not available yet on July 7th, if you are one person that was trying to upgrade to the top end of Ryzen 3000, do you just go ahead and wait it out and expect that this processor will come in a month or two after the 3900X? Or do you go ahead and jump for the 12 core 24 thread processor and hope that you can sell it with a very minimal loss on the used market and then pick up the 3950X later on down the road? Let me know what you would do if you were upgrading to the top end Ryzen 3000. Do you buy the 12 core now or do you wait it out for the 16 core? Let me know your thoughts down below. And of course, if you like this video, hey, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things help out the channel a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos around me from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.